What's going on, gentlemen? It is Sunday. Uh, the date is May the 16th. I just came off of a service call. A Bryant system that I put in in April, April 2nd of 2020. So a year and a month ago, I put this system in. I got a no cooling call on it already. Let me show y'all what I found. Now this is kind of an attention to all Bryant, Carrier Bryant and ICP dealers. Those nice little Chinese capacitors they put with the color-coded wires. Can y'all see the bulge? It's, it's small, but it's there. It's a really small bulge. This Chinese capacitor made it one year and a month before it, it popped. So, now you guys know that I'm, I'm partial to Ream. And... 90, I'd say 98% of the time I sell a ream. But there are some job applications where the ream air handler's too tall, like especially in closet applications, and I have to go with a Bryant. And I'm fine with that because Bryant's good equipment. But they use these Chinese capacitors. It's the same capacitor Goodman uses on their brand new equipment. Um, a year and a month, gentlemen, and I had to come out on a Sunday, which is fine. And look, I didn't charge that guy no service call. I give a one year labor. It's a year and a month. I wasn't gonna do that to him. But what he did do is he got on my maintenance plan. Uh, the unit was already, had a little grass on the condenser coil and stuff. So we're gonna go back next week and clean it up and all that. So what I'm gonna start doing is, and what I highly suggest to you guys is, if you are a carrier, Bryant, or ICP brand, which would be Comfort Maker, Arco Air, Heil, Keep Right, Tip Star, Day and Night, any of those brands, change the capacitor at installation. I will no longer leave the, if I, when I do a Bryant system, I will no longer, or an ICP, sometimes I'll buy a Comfort Maker from, from my Ream supplier, because my Ream supplier is Ream and Comfort Maker. Um, I will no longer be leaving these capacitors on those machines. While I'm doing a vacuum or something, I'm going to pull. I'm actually going to, well, no, I'm not going to pull one off the truck. When I buy the equipment, I'm going to ask the supplier what size capacitors on that unit. And if they say a 45.5 like this, or if they tell me a 35.5 or a, uh, a 40 slash, whatever size it is, I'm going to say, okay, well, let me grab one off the shelf. And I'm going to include that into the job and I will be swapping out these capacitors before I even start the unit up because this is ridiculous. This capacitor barely made it a year. It made it a year and a month and that's just unacceptable. We all know that these capacitors are not built like they used to be back when I first started the trade 20 years ago, but the Mars capacitors that I buy, it depends where I buy them at. If I buy them from Goodman, they're USA made, which is normally where I buy them. But if I get them from my Ream supplier, they're Mexican made. But I've had great luck even with the Mexican ones. This is just unacceptable. Sunday afternoon at two o'clock, I had to go out, which it doesn't bother me. I don't like it for my customer. It's an inconvenience for them. There's no reason this capacitor should have failed that early. It, it, and it's not like, like I said, the, the condenser coil is not plugged up or anything. It just, it's, it's got some debris on it that needs to be serviced. So I highly recommend Carrier, Bryant, Payne, ICP dealers, change out your dual run capacitors on your uh, condensers at startup. Also, if you're using an air handler or a furnace with a, well, you're not gonna be using a furnace with a P PCS motor anymore or a PSC, I'm sorry, a PSC motor anymore because that's gone. And actually, you know what? ICP, all their air handlers are ECM too, so that shouldn't be an issue. There's not gonna be a capacitor on the inside. I highly recommend you guys change these out on installation. I will be doing it. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to tell you guys that. Hopefully uh, y'all will take the advice. Again, date of installation on this unit was April 2nd of 2020. Today is May 16th, 2021. So a year and a month, we already got a dead capacitor on a Carrier Bryant ICP product. 
change them out at installation, guys. These, these are junk. Y'all have a good day.